Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be making this really fun Happy Halloween banner. And I know it's a bit early, but it's a good idea to get started with these things and don't leave it too long to make sure that you've got everything ready if you're planning a party or a little get together this year for Halloween. So this is a super easy way of making a banner. We're just going to be using some black cardstock and some paint markers, or you could use Cricut pens, whichever you have on hand. I'm just using items I've got in my crafting supplies. So I haven't really bought anything extra to make this project. So let's jump straight into doing it. If you'd like to make this project from my template here, you can just go onto my profile on the Cricut community and you'll see all my shared projects just there. If you can't find me through the Cricut community, I will pop the link down below in the description so you'll be able to just find it through there. There may be a small charge if you don't have the Cricut Access subscription, just bear that in mind. So because this is a pretty simple project, you're not going to need very many materials. So as I'm doing it with um, pens, I'm going to just use a selection of different gel pens. And I've got some Cricut ones here and I also have some paint markers as well, which I may use. So you're just going to need a big selection of pens that you might like to use for your drawing of your Halloween pumpkins and stuff. So that's those. Then you'll need some black card of your own choice. This is 220 GSM black card. This is just from my local wholesalers, but you can buy this sort of stuff from the works or um, the range have it, or Hobbycraft as well, sell big packs of it. This is a 50 pack because for some reason I tend to get through black a lot. So that is that. And then I've also just got some raffia just so that I can string up my banner at the end. But you could use ribbon or string or anything like that that you might have at home. This was just 50 pence in the Christmas sales last year. So I've got a few packs of this to use. So I'll probably just use the white one and maybe color it in with a black Sharpie. I've picked out a few Halloweeny colors from my big pot of pens and I'm going to try some different ones now just to see how they show up on a scrap piece of black card. Cause I want to make sure that they show up nicely. So this one was from Typo and because they're closing down in our local shopping centre this was like 40 pence, normally they're £1.50 but I really like their gel pens so I thought I'd try that. This one is a Zebra Gold Gel Pen, this was from Amazon but these fit directly into the Cricut so we don't need any adapters or anything like that so I'm just going to write out what they are onto the black card and then we'll just compare at the end which one looks the best. So those two are both Cricut um, 0.8mm gel glitter gel pens that one and that one and then this one is a deco color glitter paint marker I bought these in America a very long time ago I have literally just taken off the wrapper of this one because it would appear I've never used it and I can see already that that one is superior to the others straight away they all show up okay when they're reflecting against the light but if I turn off this spotlight now I'm a bit concerned that they're not going to the Cricut ones certainly don't show up you can see them but they're just not anywhere near I think it's between the zebra one there and this paint marker so I think I'm going to go with this paint marker I do like the zebra one but I think this one's just got the edge on it and will show up better on a banner so I'm just going to start off by going through how to actually make your own banner by using elements that are available in Cricut Design Space so first of all let's just go up to the images tab and I'm going to search for Halloween bunting and then I, I know roughly which one it is I'm going to use. So I'm just going to scroll down until I get to that. So it's part of this image set. So if I just click on the eye and then view image sets, it's going to show us all of the different images that are available in this set. And the ones that I'm looking at are the black ones with the orange drawings because that will be a single line drawing that you can use a pen for 
or if you've got a foiling tool you could also use that so i'm just going to insert a couple of those onto the canvas i'm just going to hide the actual design and then pull these over and i'll just zoom in a little bit more so they're a bit bigger for us to see on there it's a bit big actually let's make it a bit smaller okay so there we go so these are the two I like, the bat and the jack-o'-lantern. So let's hide this one for now and just work with the bat. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is look at the design as a whole. And we can see that we've got on the right hand side two different layers. One is a pen draw layer and the other one is a cutting layer. So we need to be able to separate these two items. And because group is grayed out we need to look at it in a different way so if we look down at the bottom on the right hand side detach is lit up so that means that they're attached rather than grouped so if we just click on that now they are separated and they're not selected so we can now click on there and pull the drawing line out away from the actual pennant piece so next what i did was just go over to the text button and I changed my font to DTC Barn Acre and you can choose that up in either by searching or if you go to the filters like I have and I've checked the box for writing fonts and this will just show you all of the fonts that are suitable for writing with your pen or for using your foiling tool with and if you just search for that it comes up as well and I really like this font for lots of different reasons but it's just a nice easy to read and nice clear font. So then I'm going to write Happy Halloween. So next I just made my writing big enough to fit onto that pennant until I thought it looked a good size. And once I'm happy with the sizing on that H there, I'm just going to ungroup two letters by clicking on the ungroup icon and now each of my letters I can move around individually. I'm just going to come up to change that to a pen drawing and I'll do the same with the Halloween. So just change the operation type from cut to pen drawing and you're just going to select everything there and I'm now going to change the colour of that to the um, orange that you can see on the screen. So now each of my letters can be moved around and I'll be able to now put that onto a pennant. So what we need to do next is grab our pennant, select the two items. So we're going to select the banner piece and the letters and then come up to a line and click on centre. And then that puts your letter right in the right spot just there. And then I've just copied and pasted so that I've got one to use. And now I'm going to come down to the bottom again and click on attach. So that H is ready to go. And then I'm just going to keep repeating the process really. So just copy and paste or duplicate whichever you are more comfortable with using. I like copy and paste. Just Usually I use the keyboard shortcuts so I'm just used to using that. And then I'm just going to again select everything align and center there we go and i'll just keep doing that all the way through until i've got all of my banner pieces ready all right then so i've got my design up on the screen here i'm just going to shrink that down a little bit so that we can see the whole design and what we need to do now is just go up to make it and because the card that i'm using is a4 sized we need to change the size of the material here that we're going to be using because at the moment as you can see it will be cutting out six pennants onto the one mat but of course because our paper isn't as big as that we need to change that so if we just go over here to the drop down box where it says material size and you get a whole bunch of different potential sizes that you could use i am going to go for the a4 because that's the size of my black cardstock okay. And now it's going to cut out four onto each page there. And you can see that it's made that adjustment all the way down onto the fifth mat where there is just one left to do. Okay, so now I've done that, I'm just going to go on to continue. 
just wait for it to pick up my machine. I'm using a Cricut Maker today, the original one, not the new machine, the Cricut 3. And now I need to choose my cardstock settings. Now, because it's a relatively simple cut, I could choose the light cardstock, but it's a little bit light for my setting here. Um, I've got medium cardstock, again, 216. I'm a little bit over that at 220. So I'm going to go to Browse All Materials, first of all, and just see if there is one that is heavier than that. So heavy cardstock is 270 and it might be a bit too much for it. So I'm going to go with my old favourite, which is Intricate Cut. And click on Done. And I've actually got it as a favourite there as well. So the machine is now telling me that I've chosen cardstock for Intricate Cuts. I'm leaving my pressure at the default. Don't need to mess with that. And then it's telling me to load in the orange 0.3 pen into Clamper A. Of course, I'm using a different pen today. So you know that isn't actually accurate but it doesn't matter too much and then i've got the fine point blade loaded into clamp b all right so now we've got it all set up on the computer we need to get our mat ready so i'm just going to show you the first time i don't really need to show you every single mat so i'm going to open up my card stock here and just take out a few sheets so i'm going to need five sheets for this project so this is nice thick card. Um, let's show this around. Okay. So I'm just going to line up my cardstock with the grid. This is a standard grip mat recommended for light cardstock. And it's been used a few times so it isn't too overly sticky. I wouldn't recommend using a brand new standard grip mat because it's going to be too sticky for your card. I'm just going to use my brayer to smooth it out and then we can get ready to insert this into the machine. So now I'm going to need to put my pen into my clamp A and because this is not a Cricut pen it's not going to fit directly into the clamp as you can see. I'm just going to take the lid off and it's just going to get sat on the top which is no good at all. So let's just put that in there. What I need to do is get this adapter out of the machine so to do that really 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 carefully just press it from the bottom and it will pop up and out and you can see that that is what is holding your pens in normally so let's pop that there oops put it on there and again this pen is too skinny now to go in there without it wibbling around so i'm going to use a pencil grip for this next part just going to grab my scissors and cut this pencil grip straight down the middle like that so now it's open and then I'm going to grab my pen and just pop it on my pen like so and then I can pop that into there and it will hold the pen for me when I close the clamp so let's insert the mat now as you can see the insert mat button is going crazy over here so we can pop the mat in so just line up on your left and your right side with the plastic guide markers and then just press your insert mat button all right and on the computer screen it's just changed now so that it knows the mat is inserted and the flashing cricket c go button is also going crazy so let's just press that and we'll get started with the cut. So I'm going to check whether it's cut all the way through so let's just lift it up and it has done a really nice cut there so we can now eject the mat so now that it's cut and it's drawn nicely so it has cut off the piece of the drawing around the side of this one 
so I'm not sure what's going on there but I'll have a look on the screen in a minute and see if that is off centre on my design but let's just flip this mat over and just peel off these pennants and I'm going to do that now with all of my other ones and I'll come back to you when I've got it all done everything's cut out now and all drawn there's been a couple of issues and I'm not sure why that has been the case this one as you can see has drawn the outline all the way around the pumpkin and then cut out perfectly but I've had this one which has drawn the outline left a couple of gaps actually the gaps are supposed to be there so it's drawn the outline but then it's cut for some reason so it hasn't quite drawn right even though it was centered on design space so that's interesting okay everything else is beautiful i love this mummy he looks so cool so all that's left now to do is string everything together and then we can hang it up Now it's all strung up we can hang it up or if you are storing it until Halloween the brilliant thing about these banners is that you can just fold them over and back on themselves and store them flat somewhere and then you'll be able to save it nice and neatly or next time when it comes to Halloween you can just get it out and reuse it. So thanks for watching everybody I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have I'd love to see you for the next one so don't forget to subscribe Drop me a like and ask any questions or comments that you might have down below. I do always try and answer them as soon as I can. And all that is left to be said is have a great week. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.